party people it's tutorial Tuesday which means it's time for another free balloon animal tutorial for you guys by moi Holly the twister sister here to teach you guys the art and craft of balloon twisting today we are getting into football season uh, we got to have a football balloon design okay so we're gonna do a football design that you can use in case you've got a football fan that comes up to you and just wants something football or something for their team okay this is something you can give them we're gonna get into that next in the past I've always gone all crazy and gone all out making people like football players and their team colors and it took forever and I'd always dread football fans coming up to me because it would take me forever. So I'm really excited to share this design with you because it's a fast way you can appease those football lovers with something quick and relatively easy. This design only uses three balloons. I've got a lime green and a white 260 here but it doesn't really matter how much you inflate either of them. So about halfway should be fine. And then I've also got the secret sauce for this design. It's gonna be these brown linking balloons that have the football, um, what are they called? Stitches printed onto them. So that will make our lives a whole lot easier. If you do not have these, you should order some before they're out of stock. It is the season, but if you don't want to order them, you can just use a regular brown linking balloon. And of course, just draw the stitching on yourself with a white paint pen. But doing it this way makes it really fast. We're going to start off our design by tying both of our 260s together at the very beginning here. Nice tight connection. So everything is solid for us to start off with. Okay, I'm just gonna cut off these tails so they get in my way. All right, we're gonna do a big fat pinch twist here at the beginning on our green. So I got one big pinch twist there. We're gonna come out just a little ways here, maybe a three inch bubble. Do another big fat pinch twist. Twist that guy around. And then you're gonna take your green back into the first pinch twist with a bubble the same size as this one. And we're just gonna leave the rest of this because we're actually gonna turn this into a wearable. So our next step is to make a field goal. Woo -woo. So we're gonna do that with our white. We're gonna come up about three to four inches. We're gonna do two pinch twists here and make them on the smaller side if you can. So one, squeeze your balloon out, and two pinch twists. We're gonna line up our balloon so that it's coming out the side of both of our pinch twist. And now we're gonna do the square shape of our goal post. So come out about an inch and a half to two inches, make a twist, and then we're gonna do a little pinch twist here. And we're going up, yeah. And we're gonna come up, I don't know, two to three inches there, all right. And what we're going to do is we're going to break this off and then attach the rest back into here. If that's a little bit scary sounding for you. You can always cut it off and then reinflate your balloon and tie it back into there. But I'm going to try to do this without having to reinflate anything. Dun -da -da! Did it. Okay, so we're going to take this now into our double pinch twist and wrap that tail in. Didn't even have to tie it. Saving those little fingers. Okay, so we've got our field goal here. We're gonna come back. We're gonna match it, same as this side here. So we're coming out about an inch and a half, and we're gonna do a pinch twist. And we're gonna go up and twist this off so it matches the other side. And now you can get rid of the rest and just tie this off. Since you've kind of got some weird tails hanging out here, this is one occasion where I would actually clean up my tails and just cut them off nice and close to the knot so it looks a little bit better. Okay, so now we have our little football field goal, field post. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> we're gonna take our football balloon now, and these are so cool. So we're just gonna inflate this guy, all right. And we're gonna be attaching this right in front of our goal. Dun -dun -dun. So 
so I'm gonna need to let some air out of mine because it's too big. So just kind of eyeball that and make sure it's not gonna be silly looking if you make it too big. All right, so I think that'll work. I'm gonna, I'm not even tying this guy, saving my fingers. I'm gonna take this and wrap it around this green pinch twist here in the front. Wrap it around and around, lock it in there. And then we're gonna take the linky part of our balloon up top here and just wrap it around the middle part of our field post. I feel like I'm just like forgot what that word is. Okay, so now you have this cool little football thing, but we're not done yet, okay? We're gonna make this into a wearable. You could leave it on a stick, and I guess that is kind of cool, just to have it on a stick, and then it's like, yeah, I like football, everybody knows, cool. Okay, or, because some guys might not want a bracelet, honestly, sometimes they don't. So you could just leave it on a stick, and that would be pretty cool. Um, <laughs> but if you want to make this a wearable, what we're going to do is come out to the end of our balloon here, and just let all the air out. I'm going to puff inflate it, so we just have a little bit of air in here, and tie off the end. Do -do -do. And then we're just going to bring this back into our pinch twist over here. Wrap it around in there nice and snug. And now you've got a nice football wearable. It's a nice little bracelet. You could also probably turn this design into a headband, which would be pretty cool as well. But that is a really easy option that you can have for people who come up and want something football-y from you. And instead of green for the grass, if you want to do like their team colors, you could do that. That would be cool as well. So I hope you guys like this little design. I wanted to give you guys a quick, easy option for the football season that's coming up. And this is it. We do have clip art available for this guy. So you can add it to your menus and start making these guys at your next event. People are going to love it. So I hope you guys like this one. If you did, let me know by popping that like button down below. It really helps me out. It's a fast, easy, free way you can help support the channel. If you want to see more stuff like this, make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already. And you'll want to ring the bell when you subscribe. That will let you know every time I put out a new video. Every Tuesday, it is a free balloon animal tutorial for Tutorial Tuesday. And then on Fridays, I teach you guys how to make money with your new balloon skills. We do business advice videos on Fridays and I talk about a topic or answer an audience member question about the business of balloons. Don't forget also to come on over to our free Facebook group and post your pictures of the balloon of the week this week, which is our football guy here. And would love to see pictures. Everybody shares over there. It doesn't matter if you're a brand new beginner, if you've been doing this for years, it's a safe place to share your work and get cheered on by other members of the Balloon Twisting community. We'd love to see what you make this week, what colors you decide to use and all of that. If you don't have these cool print balloons, there's a link in the description below where you can get some. Or you can also grab yourself a white paint pen. I like the Posca paint pen brand. There's a whole bunch of other options on the market. Try them out, see what you think. Um, but then just, you know, it's just a line with lines going across it really. Really easy to draw if you need to draw these on. But don't let not having this print design stop you from offering this on your menus because it is a really easy one even if you do have to draw the stitches on. If you guys are looking for more sports themed designs, I have a basketball tutorial that you might be interested in. You can catch that right over here and I'll see you over there. If not, I'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Until then, happy twisting. Bye everybody. Bye.